From a very early phase, we realized that if we wanted optical I.O. to become a ubiquitous technology, we had to solve a series of problems, not just focus on the device technology itself. And one of the first things that we did in IR Labs was to reach out to Global Foundries where we could join together to build our product. IR Labs is a really early partner of ours. They worked with us very early, even before we had the formal definition of what a photonics platform would be. And they were working toward a vision of using high volume manufacturing, high volume process control, and existing CMOS materials to realize their vision of photonics. So it gives me great pleasure and pride to see how far they've come from those early days of formulating what could be with CMOS to where they are today with working silicon in a monolithic silicon photonics process in 45 nanometer. And we look for product qualification in the second half of 2021. And today we're so excited to be announcing that we have our electronic photonic solution working in Global Foundry's next generation 45 nanometer silicon photonic CMOS process. With this demonstration, we're showing that Optical I.O. is ready to be manufactured in high volume. It can be used by existing high performance SOCs and it's well positioned to intercept future SOC products. We're showing functional high performance analog transistor front ends connected to on-chip photonic devices, which are micro ring modulators and photo detectors and we're demonstrating 32 gigabits per second per wavelength operation. We're showing transmitters and receivers, both using commercial off-the-shelf FPGAs, and those FPGAs are using our optical chiplets to send that data out and receive that data optically. And we're doing this on our chip with less than two picojoules per bit of energy used. In addition to this, we've also developed all of the wafer scale testing techniques that are required to pursue very high volume, high throughput deployment of these solutions. And we can do fully automated 300 millimeter wafer level testing that tests both the electronics and the photonics at the same time. Now we'll also be looking to expand our sampling program so that we can get our technology into more people's hands. Now, if you're interested in this, please see our website where you can find more information to sign up for this access. The significance of the working silicon from IR Labs is important to Global Foundries and more important to the industry because the combination of working silicon in our next generation 45 nanometer platform, which is due for production qualification in the second half of next year, puts this product and puts in package optical I.O. using photonics on the cusp of high volume manufacturing and a much wider proliferation of photonics into the industry. This is a game changer and the combination of the economics of scale and the capability of the product is going to change our world.